Day two, almost the end of our the end of our week long. Day two of event two. Day two, event two or three, depending on how you count them. We have one day tomorrow. I love our VULP crew. Nashville was a hit. We'll definitely be back. All right, we are we are headed to an event. We got 300 people from Keller Williams coming to do a mini version of our workshop. It's our first time being out of Austin with the workshop. It's our first mini workshop. Uh, we've got a jam-packed day. We're trying to do nine hours of content in three hours. So we'll we'll see how it goes. We don't know where the venue is. Luckily our, our driver does, so we will uh, <laughs> we'll figure that out. Sabrina is with us as always, my co-pilot. Dude, we're gonna go out, we're gonna crush it. So we had a, had a landscape pool visit doing the maintenance, and then I realized, oh, you just get the accounts, and you get them on credit card auto billing, you go get 25 accounts, and you can just go sell the accounts for like 25 grand, 1,000 bucks an account. Well, but then, well then, once I learned other things, and their marketing, I'm like, oh, so you just mail postcards, and say, two weeks of research, <laughs> all the things. And they still do that to this day, I still get little... <laughs> I know, the two weeks of free, yeah, two I know, weeks of free I created that whole, yeah. I figured, I spent, I spent a fortune industry. figuring out that whole thing. Turns out you give people two weeks of free pool or landscape service, they'll yeah. sign up. Remember, Serena, I would, I would also just go land like a big job, like a five thousand dollars worth of work. Then I go to someone else. I was like, Hey, do you want to do this job for twenty five hundred bucks? And I would just make the spread <laughs> on the deal to not do wholesaling jobs. I was wholesaling jobs. <laughs> exactly right. That's awesome. Okay. Good morning, good morning. I'm Brett. Nice to meet you. Got the crew. Yeah, we're, we're ready to go. We're here early, ready to rock. But what's the goal for KW12? The end goal, well, a couple things. The primary purpose is that I think real estate agents should be like looked at is the is people like, oh, you're in real estate? You must be ridiculously wealthy. But our industry's not looked at that way, right? It's just not. And and agents have all the tools, all the resources. They know what a deal looks like. Mm -hmm. They know that they should be investing in real estate, but they get busy being agents. And so the goal is just kind of change that. And then bigger picture, we'll launch a fund. Gary and I will launch a fund in Q2. Very cool. I love this yeah. content. We're getting, uh, we're. This is content, but this is a thing, right? Yeah, well, like, this a is a thing for me for a week. I'm, I'm like two oh, weeks in. For two weeks in. No, okay, but so now we're going. Starting. We're going, yeah, I'm just yeah. starting. So it's, I think it was Abe, we were at something recently and he had he had just brought his content provider uh, that was in, taking yeah. filming where we was going. So yeah. this is really cool. Yeah, thank this you. This is a new position for you. This is brand new. We're, Cole's the driver, Cole runs the show. I just show up and do my thing and want to get better at telling our story. He had a really cool, we had a video you'll see it go up about like Gary popping in and talking and, and, yeah. and just capturing right like like this part and telling the story around all right we're in Tennessee, you've got Marcus, you've got to have agents. It's just a cool, I think sharing, we all gotta get better at telling our story. It's so true. And I have been honestly terrible at it, mm -hmm. right? Like I just even do all they know even knew what it was, we had no grant, I mean, it was just mm -hmm. yeah. a thing, it's like a passion project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now it's getting, or it's, it's becoming a really big thing, and so we want to just get better. Yeah, we put it out there. Imagine this: we put a survey out there with KW Wealth, and it was one of the top. That's so Brett cool. Tanner. Thank you. Right, one of the top to come. So we're we're pumped that it lined up with you being here in Nashville already. Yeah. And I thought I'd tell you a little real estate story. So I happened to be in a mastermind, and I went down to the hot tub at the end of the day, and a gentleman and his wife were in there, and it's kind of a weird way to start a story, talking about how you're going to spend three hours in a hot tub with a guy and his wife. Um, Gary told that story, but that's not, it's not going where you think it is. And he said, hey, I just moved back to San Diego after living in Greensville, South Carolina for a while around the BMW plant. And he's like, yeah, I moved my family out there and I bought 50 homes around the plant. They doubled and tripled in value and I sold them all and I moved back to San Diego and I made about like 10 million bucks. I'm like, wow, that seems easy. I should be doing something like this. Seems like an easier way to do it. I said, what other markets are you looking at? He goes, yeah, the strategy is you just chase US manufacturing. You find out where all the jobs are going in. 
Because when any jobs go in, all the parts people go in, competitors go in. So it's not just one job. If they say they're creating 5,000 jobs, it's probably going to be more like 10,000 jobs. And so I said, what markets are you looking at? And he gave me four or five, and Huntsville was one of them. So I went out there and looked at it. This is probably 2016. And I went and bought 40 homes around the factory in Huntsville, Alabama. And at the time, people were like, You're, these homes have been worth 50 grand forever, Brett. Like, this isn't a great investment strategy. I said, it's not hard to figure out, right? I mean, I can see what the job's gonna pay. I can see what kind of house these, the, the workers are gonna buy. And I could just go buy those homes. And my hope was that they would double in three to five years. That was the hope. And they three to four x in like three. And so it became one of the greatest real estate investments ever done. So I still own 40 homes in, uh, in Huntsville, Alabama. And we always said we we're gonna come back up to Nashville. And so it's my first time here. So I'm really excited to be here with you.